get to see my thought process. You get to see everything from beginning to end, creating images. Not only that, but I also take a lot of paintings that have gotten me a lot of recognition, award-winning paintings, and I show you the raw files. And we discuss exactly how did I come up with this painting? How did I do it? What were the different techniques involved? What were the different steps? So I, I'm really, really excited about this uh, school, not just because, you know, it's my school and everything, but just for the whole fact that now I'm able to teach people from halfway around the world in India or in Sweden or the Netherlands and just everywhere. It doesn't matter anymore. And not only that, but I believe like this is the best way to learn. A lot of it just has to do with the simple fact that you can rewind what the person says. You know, in my classes at Sheridan, things go by pretty fast because there's a lot to get through in every class. And everybody's at a different skill level, so the comprehension level is a bit all over the place when it comes to software. So there's a lot of people that take notes frantically and sometimes it's hard for them because when they're taking notes they can't really do much of the painting and you kind of need to do both. So this way you get to take your time. You get to go at your own pace. Everybody has different schedules. Everybody lives in different time zones. So the whole entire idea is this works with your schedule. Not only that, but it works with my schedule as well. Anybody can just watch the videos at their own times. Then what happens is you do the assignment, you hand it back in to me, and I am going to give the students another video. In this video, it's going to have their assignments on the screen, and I'm going to be painting on top of them, talking about what should I change, why did I want to change it, personal feedback on your own stuff. In my classes in Sheridan, I have 30, 30 some odd people. If I was just to give them five minutes of my time to each person, it would take me 150 minutes. My class is only 180 minutes long. And there's a 15 minute break. So that means if I gave everybody five minutes of my time and not a minute was wasted, then my lecture can only be, my lesson can only be 15 minutes long as well. Which isn't enough time, not nearly enough time. So what ends up happening is I'm not able to attend to every student on an individual basis. But the thing is, that's the best time to learn. When you have one-on-one -on -one time with your teacher and they are looking at your work and they're looking at you as an individual and everything that they are teaching you and telling you is all geared towards you specifically. Those are the best times to learn when you have that one-on-one -on -one time with the teacher. That's when I can teach you the most. And because the lectures that I do on the online classes, I only do them once and then they're recorded and then I would never have to do them again. This allows me a lot more time to be with every student and give them personal feedback. So it's great for the students and it's great for me. It's great for the students because it gives me more time with the students and it's great for me because I don't have to keep going over the same lecture over and over again. Not only that, but I can edit my lecture. I can polish it so that it is the best lecture that I could ever give. The perfect lecture with no stumbling, no bumbling, no anything. 
normally what happens is when you're in class and you actually might get some one-on-one -on -one time with the teacher, this is a time where you don't want anybody else around. You don't want anybody else around listening in on your conversation, listening to all your mistakes and things like that. It's very personal. Your f personal feedback, one-on-one -on -one time, is very personal. But on the internet, you can't see people listening in and watching your personal critique videos. You can't see any of that. So that's why for this school, it's like you are allowed to look at everybody's videos. And everybody is allowed to look at your videos as well. Then we can all learn together. Because most likely somebody else's problem could be your problem as well. So you... But then you might not have even thought of it. So just having this simple function really helps the whole learning process a lot. A lot of people constantly email me and ask me, how do you do this technique? How do you do that technique? What are you doing here? What are the settings for this? What are the settings for that? How come your videos are always you talking about things that don't relate to the painting? How come you don't talk about how you're painting this? How, what's going through your head at the time as you're painting this ear? Well, for those people that are interested in the whole procedure, the whole entire thinking process of my paintings... Now you can sign up for the class. Now you can take the class. And that's what these classes are all about. Instructional. You get into my head. I explain my whole thinking process. All my different techniques. All the different settings that I'm using. Why am I using them? Why am I using these tools? What do these functions do? All that stuff. All of that, your questions will be answered. But if you're one of those people that are just more interested in just hearing the stuff that I have to say, then that's fine too. You know, these videos will still be free on YouTube. I'll still be doing them. These are things that I just want to do that are actually fun for me and relaxing for me to just paint and just to talk about whatever random stuff is just floating in my head for me to just talk about it and just let it all out. Now for Steven's class, it's going to be really great because his is a character design class. So you will be going through all these different exercises, and different assignments to create your own characters and things like this and when you send them to and when you hand in the assignments Steven Silver is going to be looking at them he's going to be sending you back another video where your character is the one on screen and he's going to be drawing on top of your character correcting this adjusting that talking about what he would change what would he keep personal feedback Now, the one thing is I have to warn you that the, the classes are very small. In order to be able to give personal feedback to every individual student, we had to keep the classes at a very small size. 15 students per class right now. This allows us time to still do our everyday stuff, like doing our freelance and doing our projects and things like that. But this is also a good thing because small classes means a lot more time with the individual students. So if you want to sign up, you can find a lot more info at the website in the bottom corner, schoolism.com. That's our new site for the online art classes. This is a site that's built by artists for artists 
and I couldn't be any prouder of this school. Teaching art the way I feel it should be taught. Teaching people from a professional standpoint, from a professional's standpoint. Somebody that is actually working out in the field, working in the same thing that they're teaching. And we're not just some lifetime teachers or anything. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it's just that I just feel like if you are teaching others to become artists and not art teachers, then you need to know something about actually being successful as an artist, not an art teacher. You need to become successful yourself to teach others how to become successful. And that's something that I find lacks in a lot of art schools. Because a lot of the teachers, that's all that they do. That is their profession. It's not being an artist, it's being an art teacher. They've never actually survived being an artist before. They've never actually done what they're teaching. Now, that's not to knock them completely because you know I've learned from a lot of great lifetime teachers as well, but I just found that the ones that hit me the most, the ones that had the best influence on me were the ones that actually did it, that were actually successful as an artist before becoming a teacher, that actually made a living from being an artist. They will have much more insight on things that you never would have even thought about. There's a lot and a lot and a lot of things that I've learned since becoming a professional artist and surviving on my own that I never, ever, ever learned in school. And if you were to become an artist as well, in my opinion, the best way is to learn from somebody that also makes a living from being an artist. From a person that's doing the things that you want to do. Those are the people that you want to learn from. Now, you also have to get people that can actually teach as well. So not only are they doing the things that you want to do, but they're also able to teach well, which is very important. And that's why I feel like I've been really successful at teaching too, is because I actually still do the stuff that I teach. I run my own studio, and I still do freelance and all that stuff combined, as well as you know, coming from a family of teachers, has really helped me become successful as a teacher as well, as well as an artist. Okay, now this podcast has turned into one big commercial, but there's a lot of people that were emailing me about this stuff and asking me what's this school all about and everything like that. So... You know, this isn't the normal thing people were asking. So I just wanted to respond to those people. And also, like I always say, if I don't tell you, how are you going to know? You know what I mean? So, and that's one of my things too. You do anything that you're proud of, you start telling people. Otherwise, people won't know. And these things that you're proud of, You'd want people to know about. There's so many artists out there that are absolutely amazing and virtually unknown all the time. And it's a real shame, I think. Why should the big companies get all the glory? Why should Disney or Pixar or DreamWorks or Sony or whatever and so on and so forth, why should they get all the glory? Definitely the artist deserves some as well. So if you ever do anything good, allow yourself to be able to tell others of your achievements for once. So once again, that's schoolism.com. 
classes start in May. It's for any skill level. Whether you're a student, teacher, professional, hobbyist, it doesn't matter. Because in my regular classes at Sheridan College, I have the same mixed crowd in my classes as well. There's always some hobbyists. There's always a whole bunch of students from all different colleges. There's always at least one art teacher in my classes. And there's always at least a few professionals as well. So really this course, it doesn't matter what type of skill level you have because the course is built that way. It's all about digital painting techniques. It's all about how I make my favorite custom brushes and how to make your own and different techniques with textures, different settings that you'll be using to combine to make certain looks, how to get that painterly feeling in your paintings, how to control your brushes, how to make them work naturally. Different approaches to color, how light reacts, all the things that people need to know to start their careers off right or to heighten their game, to heighten their skill levels with a little turbo boost from Bobby Chu. That's right, buddy. Take you to where you want to go. Blam! There you're there. <laughs> well, anyways, uh, but really, the school is great. Check it out. Schoolism.com. Spots are very limited, so sign up right away. <laughs>